It's a hidden Wisconsin treasure nestled in Rock County, a story of trust and tenacity. It's amazing how many people, even in town, are like, yeah, I drive by it, but I never go to it. In the 1800s, the Milton House was more than just a stop for weary stagecoach travelers. It was the post office at one point, so locals would have been in and out. So having people arrive at odd times and in odd ways wouldn't have raised any eyebrows. Inn owners Joseph and Nancy Goodrich were also secretly providing refuge to runaway slaves who had come up the Mississippi River to the Rock River in Milton. Where we're standing at right now, um, what's below us? We believe that underneath us is where they would have been hiding the freedom seekers as they were waiting to go on to the next station. And as you can see, um, you can see the original beams and the floor. We don't know how long uh, freedom seekers were kept here. It probably depended on a lot of factors, but it could change um, maybe a couple hours, a day, maybe a week. Milton House Executive Director Keaton Kloss explains how the secret system worked once Joseph's brother pulled his covered wagon up to the cabin behind the inn. And they would have been brought in through this door and they would have came into this space. This is just the beginning of their journey because what do they have to do once they enter this cabin? Yeah, so they probably thought like, great, we get to stay in a cabin. And then they're like, okay, climb down in this dark hole. And they probably were kind of like, what? Their journey was far from over. Once they got down into this dark tunnel, they had to feel their way through. It was dark and cold. They had to trust their instincts to get to the other side in hopes of freedom. The Underground Railroad was a network of safe havens, and while the root cellar was a holding spot for the freedom seekers, they still had to crawl back through that 45-foot long tunnel to the cabin before being taken to their next location. This would have been a stop on probably their, their eventual journey to Canada because that would have been their only guarantee of freedom. For more than 160 years, this site stands as a beacon and a reminder of the town's rich past. You can study about the Underground Railroad, you can read the narratives, you can see the pictures, but being in a space where that was actually happening and where those people were running for their lives, I think is a very moving experience and something that you just can't get if you can't be in the space. Keaton strongly believes the history of the Milton House is not just for black Wisconsinites, but relevant for us all. In Milton, Shannon Sims, TMJ4 News.